I mean, is it like pepperoni? I like flick the thing in the back of my throat. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our table or our, our car. car. So today we have an exciting video. We are doing the triple treat box from Pizza Hut. We have been binge watching H3 Productions, Frenemies, the Trisha Paytas drama, and they got this on their last episode of Frenemies. So we were like, let's go try it. So yeah, so it comes, it's I think like $21.99 and it comes with two pizzas breadsticks and cinnamon rolls cinnamon cinnabon cinnamon rolls cinnamon yeah rolls. cinnabon uh, pardon all the clutter clutter and the are, back yeah we all these bags are full of clothes and stuff we're donating all of it yeah we were gonna donate it today but they're not open on mondays yeah. so they only take donations on Tuesdays, tuesdays through thursdays we decided so, yeah. to hit up an actual <laughs> like ministry that they take your donations and then they sell them mm -hmm. for um, ministry projects and stuff. Yeah. So okay, yeah, I'm gonna take that. Okay, there's no room in this car for this big old box. Yeah, and Lucky, uh, I don't even know where Lucky is. He's, he's, back, he's there. back there. He's back there, sitting on top of the bags. Yeah. Um. So okay, let's see. Give us a oh. thumbs up for Lucky. Welcome. To all of our viewers and subscribers thank you guys so much for being with us on this journey and thank y'all for being in our frenemies trisha paytas and ethan's uh pizza hut inspired mukbang yeah if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button and throw us a like oh my gosh sorry guys, I just, this is like so oh. anticlimactic okay Okay, here we go. If yes. you guys can't see the pizza, we apologize. I'm yes. just, it's just too messy. Here we go. Also, okay, so oh. first let's take a bite. Yeah, let's take a bite. This pizza, I've never seen, it's hot. It is thin crust, which is what I got. It's super hot. Oh. Mm. I, it's hot, I can't grab it. That's good. It's been a minute. And I got like light pizza too. sauce, so. Okay, mine is just coming apart. This is good. So, how are you guys this day? How are you guys been? We've been cleaning, we've been donating, we've been organizing. And so, Tuesdays is our subdivisions, like trash days. So, the last couple of Tuesdays we've been setting out, like, old baby furniture and stuff that, like, we just know we're not going to use. So we set out this like play like this feeding table and feeding chair <laughs> that I've had for years, guys. Years. And I It's one of those things that was like multifunctional. Yeah, so it was like a a like high a chair and then you flip it and then it becomes a desk and table. Mm -hmm. I mean a desk and chair. And had it for years, never broken. So we set outside this morning, we come home. It's gone. it's gone. And we're like, okay, that's fine. Perfect. So it's like 7 o'clock. And we're leaving to get the pizza. And we start backing out of the driveway. And we're like, what is that? They brought it back. Broke. Broken. <laughs> who does that? Like, who takes something out of someone's trash, which we don't care about. Yeah. Because that's why we left it out there for a reason. Early, because we knew somebody might take it. But they bring it back broken. Broken. Like, if you're going to take our trash, don't bring it back broken. Yeah. Just put it in your own trash. Yeah, who takes it and brings it back? Like, that's bizarre. That's, it's, that's weird. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Really weird. It's really weird. So, we've been doing all these projects because mm -hmm. shortly I'm going to be having surgery. Mm-hmm. And, um, so we're trying, just trying to get everything that we've ever wanted to do done. I got a new bedroom suit, so I got new furniture and stuff, and yeah. So, and then, you know, you know how you always, like, have your kids' clothes, and you think, oh, I'm gonna have a garage sale one day. I've had boxes and boxes and boxes 
in our spare bedroom. That's what all this clothes is. Yeah. And so we're just donating it because yeah. we're not going to have a garage sale. So. I mean, it's hey, crazy. It's going to a good cause. Yeah. So we've missed you guys. Yes, we have missed you guys. So we were watching Frenemies with Ethan and Trisha Paytas. And so their last episode when they had their big blow up, <laughs> they ordered this this meal thing. Yeah. And um so we were like, man, let's order that. <laughs> we're hungry. Yeah. And we'll just film it. It's like, whoa. It that they had some serious drama. Because they're working. Comment down below if you guys know about it or if you watched it or whatever. I feel like it's extra hard because they're working together. Plus, oh, plus she's dating the brother in law. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy because. She talks mad crazy about their family. Yeah. And about Ethan's wife. But I don't think Moses is a chump. Like, I'm not going to let someone talk about my sister like that who I'm not even married to. Yeah. Well, haven't you been dating that long? True. Loyalty. But Trisha just has crazy stuff. She's just mentally insane. Literally. Bless her heart. Yeah. I mean, she's offended the DID community. She's offended the trans community. Like, oh my God. Yeah. It's crazy. It is crazy. But hey, we tried a new food item. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> and they did a cheese fountain. Although we haven't done a cheese fountain, our cheese never comes out right. Yeah. So, I'm so glad other people's cheese um, doesn't work well, what like ours. Right? Someone actually did the right recipe, but... It, 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 it was everything pretty much the same. No, it wasn't. <laughs> pretty much. We have nothing to drink. No. Again. Mm -mm. Guys, comment down below if you guys also think it's weird that someone will return our trash. Like, that's weird. That is super weird. Who does that? If you're going to take it, that's you broke perfectly it. okay. Like, we set it out knowing early that it might get taken, which we're okay with that because we'd rather someone take it and it just be good trashed, use. you know? So we're okay with it. But how are you going to take it and, but, and bring it back broken? They kept the DVD player. They kept the DVD player. And the small TV. Mm-hmm. It was like a little <clears throat> flat screen, two inch. You okay? Yeah. But is it like pepperoni? Like flick the thing in the back of my throat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm so excited too. Um, I'm on my last couple of days of pink eye medicine. That's why I haven't been wearing any makeup. I haven't even worn face makeup because I've been afraid like, you know, my brushes or my sponges that were close to my eye, I didn't want to have to throw them away. Yeah. Because I had to throw away like a mascara, a whole, a brand new palette of eyeshadow and like three brushes. I think it was the mascara that did it. Mm -hmm. Because I literally don't go anywhere. So I'm kind of like pseudo quarantining before my surgery. Yeah. But after I have my pre op, should be quarantined. I'll be completely like, because I have to do a COVID test. So I won't actually leave the house at all. Yeah. Until the surgery. So, y'all, COVID sucks. I wish people would just wear their dead gum mask and social distance because. My grand aunt just passed away, and so I have no idea how they're gonna do yeah. the funeral. I mean, we're a huge Hispanic family, so there's gonna, you know, mm -hmm. 
they're probably only going to let the immediate family or I don't know. Because the funeral home, how are they going to, I don't know. Well, I know people are still having weddings. Like big, huge weddings? People are just wearing masks. But that's why they can't, how do they social distance? That's why we have COVID. It's crazy. Like, I feel like, and y'all are probably don't come for me, but I feel like in the beginning. Or do. We don't really care. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> um, if, if at the beginning, so in, in Houston, when we have a big hurricane like Ike, Harvey or whatever, there's, they like, well, not Harvey so much, but like Ike, um, nothing was open because, well, we didn't have electricity, but nothing was open, no gas, no grocery stores, nothing was open for like a good week and a half mm -hmm. then they slowly brought in gas and then heb started to open certain days certain time frames and um only one person per family could go in and i feel like if we had one good nationwide shutdown for two weeks yeah we would be good you know? I mean, think about all these other countries that have shut down. And they're doing way better than we are. Yeah. If everyone would wear their masks, we'd be and okay. And social distance and hand sanitizer. Like, that's what freaks me out about getting this pink eye. Is that I'm super conscientious yeah. about, what, you know, hand sanitizing, washing my hands, not touching my eyes. So, yeah. when I got pink eye, I was like, what the heck? Like, who gets pink eye right during a surgery. pandemic right before a major surgery? Me. So, yeah. it's really made me even more, like, conscientious about not touching my face. I don't know. Yeah. It's just it's crazy. crazy. COVID's just crazy to begin okay. with. Papa. Turn 21. COVID's yes. messed that up. But, but we're but... still doing some stuff. And because... You know, I've been planning her 21st birthday since she was 15. But she also has to realize it is my birthday. So if there's stuff that I want to do, Solita, I'm going to. Oh, you can. We're going to do all the things I have planned. We're, 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 we're. Yes. We're going to do all the things I have planned. And then you can do all the things you have planned. But we're doing all the stuff I want to do. My mom's a low key hoarder sometimes when it comes to like family mo memorabilia and like stuff that like reminds her of when I was little. I'm, yeah. I'm slowly getting rid of that. Okay. Mm -mm. Bear with me. Well, you make me concerned. So I want to be cremated. But now you make me concerned because she's going to be like, oh, I'm we not kept her ashes long enough. Let's just throw them out. Getting rid of a comforter and a and a um a bed is different than throwing your ashes. Okay, true that. I mean, come on, they're not the same. Okay, true that. And you keep pissing me off. I'm gonna throw your ashes <laughs> in the dirt. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're so sorry for taking a break. We just it it's, it's I, been a I lot. had to. Like, it's been a lot. Being that anemic, like yeah. my brain just wasn't working yeah. right. Like it, it's even affected my dissertation like yeah. it, like I forget things I I'm yeah. not as snappy as I she'll, was she'll say something and I'll be like mom we already talked about it and she's like oh okay and then she'll say it again I'm just like hey like we've talked about this yeah. like and my doctor said it, it's gonna take time to get back together but it's it's yeah. taking too long it's it's taking a toll but we're getting there we hope we hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching our treat box Thing. Tri I mean, what is it called? A triple, triple box? Triple bypass, no. Triple, triple, <laughs> triple treat box. Yes. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that red subscribe button or turn on the notification bell to get alerts every time it went live or post another video like this one. Yeah. I didn't mess it up. <laughs> I kind of get a little tongue burp. tied. Yeah. You didn't burp. Yep. All right. All right. And don't forget to watch these, these two videos. videos.